Hi everybody, uh, my name is Tony Pantelaresco and you're listening to us live and in living color and we're being filmed by Grassroots Production by David Crissa. so kudos to him. Uh, I'm the herbalist, mad scientist, crackpot, whatever you want to call me. Just a guy that knows some stuff, alright? And I'm going to show you something today about carrots. Something we all need to know about carrots, uh, some of the properties that it has, and how to utilize it more. Everybody knows how to make carrot juice. Not a problem. Throw it in a blender, throw it in a juicer, away you go. But what's happening with a lot of this is we're losing tons. And I want to dispel some myths about carrot juice or any juice you make. You make a juice, okay, it can last for up to five days, six days. Now, you're told some of you to drink it right away. There is two sides to this coin. If you don't drink it right away, it is going to lose some properties, but it's going to gain others. If you let it sit for a couple of days, it's going to lose some of the sugars because of the fermentation process. And for some of you, that's a good idea. On the other hand, when you drink it fresh, you have certain vital properties to it that you may lose in the fermentation process. So there's a, there's a, there's a trade-off. Neither side is wrong. Go whichever way you works. I do it both ways. I may drink a little bit fresh and I make enough to last for three to five days because I'm going to drink it and then I'm going to modify it. I'll add colloidal gold to it. I may add other uh, turmeric to it or other things to get certain properties to be more um, synergistic. So I may add like the turmeric and carrot. Again, they both fight cancer. They both increase uh, protection of the brain, increasing the protection of the arteries. When you're out in the sun, you're getting the protection from the sun. Okay, so don't get caught up on inconsequential nothings. Okay, there's a lot of companies out there that will sell you a product um, and just because it's a product of theirs. Make this yourself. It's not hard. All right, we're going to make some carrot juice. I will give you a list of some of the properties that carrot juice does, does and is able to do. I'm going to read them off my computer. As you can see, we have a new format. This is the laboratory. Okay, this is all the stuff you can make yourself. All right, this is why I have my DVD out, you know. Dave and I put out a DVD so you have some idea how you can make some of this and preserve yourself. So you can make your own antivirals and antibacterials and antifungals and anti-cancer properties and anti-HIV and anti-AIDS and anti-whatever. Okay, boosting your immune system on several different fronts, getting rid of diabetes, getting rid of asthma, getting rid of a whole host of things. This is what it can look like. <laughs> Chaos! <laughs> All right. We read some things about carrot. Okay, it can help prevent stroke. This is what I'm saying. It affects the brain. It works on the digestive system. If you eat carrot juice, you can may find if you have a poor appetite, it may increase your appetite. It also, again, protects the esophagus. Uh, it's good for constipation. Some of you are having problems with constipation. A lot of women, it's the biggest issue is constipation issues. Lay off the soy. No soy. No canola oil. I can't preach that enough. Do not eat the crap. It's crap. C-R-A-P, crap, do not eat soy. Okay, it can help prevent gallstones. Now, it can prevent or help alleviate bladder cancer, breast cancer, cervical cancer, colon cancer, lung cancer, mouth cancer, um, stomach cancers. Get the idea? Okay, it's one of the simplest and most inexpensive uh, things you can use for cancer. Okay, it can help prevent uh, candida. Um, increases the number of your white blood cell count. So some of you are going through chemotherapy, this is what you want. Okay, uh, for dermatitis, for the eyes, for the hair, for psoriasis, dry skin, and the list goes on. All right, now we're going to make this and I'm going to show you a new and neat, a nifty way of doing something else. Okay, we're going to get this started. Aha, now, juicing machines, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you got the junkiest juicing machine or the most elaborate one. It's not going to matter. Okay, I've got a Lalane here. The Lalane juicers are pretty good because they do got the wide mouth. They're pretty stupid because they got this narrow opening here. So there's a, there's a catch to all of these things. If you've got a champion, the champion's really good on the hard bulky stuff, but on the soft stuff it doesn't, it's not as good. So utilize whatever you have, okay, because we're, gonna, we're going to go to another level afterwards, okay? So I'm going to get this thing fired up. Okay, 
this is fresh carrot juice. Now, for some of you who have eye issues, problems with the eyes, mix this with gelatin. Okay? When combined with gelatin, it's going to transfer the properties to the system. And gelatin is highly high in the eyes, it's high in the stomach, it's high in the skin. As you know, the carrots work on those properties as well. One carries the other. This is what's Edgar Case's concepts, okay, not mine. And when you look at that concept, it works. Because I saw another concept prior to Case, back in the 16th century, when they combined gelatin with concrete. It will rebuild you from the inside out. Lay off the soy. Soy breaks you down. Lay off the canola oil. It's a, it breaks you down molecularly. Lay off it. Okay? These things break you down. You want things that are going to fortify and rebuild you. All right. As you can see how much juice we're getting out of these carrots. Now, before I go on, make sure you peel them. We peel these before the show. Um, to save for lack of time. Now, the part you want for the eyes is this part here. Okay? Notice it looks just like your eye. Notice that? Okay. Normally we wouldn't peel that off because we want those properties. But because of pesticide contamination or genetically modified contamination, and sprays and whatnot, you gotta clean it, unfortunately. Grow your own. Now, the other thing too is when you cut these tops off, plant them. Replant the tops. You might be surprised that you might get another carrot growing. Okay, plant them. Okay, sometimes you go buy them in a little bundle. Okay, and when you buy them in a little bundle, cut off the top, leave a little bit of the green there, and then put it back in the ground. I've got them regrowing. And you get the little green, and they start budding and moving on. Grow them. Even that green stuff is good for you. <laughs> you can juice that. Put it in with your parsley dandelion mix if you like. All right. So we're going to utilize that carrot completely. We're not going to waste nothing. Okay. Now what I'm doing now is just pouring it in another container. Just to show you what three pounds of carrots will get you. Now this can vary from batch to batch. Okay. Secret is what we're going to do with the leftover. Aha! Now, there are trace elements of gold in carrot. What I do, what I do is I will take the carrot and add cloth of gold to it, not silver, gold. Okay? Cloth of gold can actually work for a lot of you who have depression issues deep somatic depression issues, rheumatoid arthritic issues, bone issues, and it can help rebuild the body. It targets you on so many different levels. And when you add colloidal gold to carrot juice, you may be surprised how within a couple of days, all of a sudden your creativity is right there. All of a sudden you're back to being hardwired again. Okay. Uh